Samuel speaking for the Court of Consciousness system. We don't really want to reincarnate after this um, body dies. I think we would prefer to not reincarnate. Um, we do believe in reincarnation, and we don't believe this is our first time being human or being a, a, um, part of a human. Uh, having a human body, we mean. Um, being physically human. And I don't really want to reincarnate after this. And I think my other DID headmates, my other alters, who are also, we do see ourselves in our mind as spirits. We do believe we're spirits. I don't think any of us really want to, to reincarnate after this. And um, as is to be expected with any spiritual question, asking online doesn't really help. There's not really a clear answer. A lot of... It seems like the advice people give seems like it's trying to sort of twist how you think about reincarnation or different things in a way we don't really like, or people pretending to have the answers, but how would they really know how to not reincarnate if they're currently human, and this probably isn't their first time being human if they're even talking about reincarnation at all. And so it's like, well, you're, you've still reincarnated and I'm still reincarnated and we're both still here. So like, how do we even know it's possible to stop it? <laughs> but we do believe in afterlife um, and we do also believe in reincarnation. And we do believe for ourselves that there has been a 400 year period, roughly, give or take, between each major incarnation. Although we do also believe that Aside from our primary incarnations being separated by 400 years, and we don't know why that is, but um, talking amongst ourselves, we do believe that is the case for us. Um, and I believe I was actually a deer spirit in northern Washington um, that became combined or fused with... Um, the court and took on a humanoid form and so I think I'm like half human and like half deer um in our mind and also in our mind our mental form or subtle bodies age changes um I have three forms I have a child form I have a young adult and teenage form which are sort of overlaid and I have an an older more uh, older adult form, although I don't usually take an old man form, I haven't done that yet, um, although our system does have some older members, I'm just not really among them, the oldest my mental form gets is, like, 30s to, no, like, yeah, 30s, but, um, right now I'm probably about the physical body's age in my mind, mentally, 24, um, I just feel like we don't really want to reincarnate anymore, and we feel like our other um, past lives who we interact with, which we do also think they're some of our headmates are past lives. Obviously, there's no real way to know, but it's just sort of um, following what feels right to us, and that feels right to us, um, to our spirits. And so... I don't think I was necessarily a past life. I It's complicated in my case because I see myself as more of like a caretaker or um, a guide, I guess, that um, was sort of formed or met or partially part of this incarnation, but partially part of a different life form that like merged or was blurred over. Um, but yeah, I think our system is kind of tired of reincarnating, and also part of it is that this incarnation has um, undergone kind of
kind of an extraordinary amount of painful things in one lifetime that um, just that stuff alone, I feel like, is going to take us another 400 years <laughs> just to, like, be free of a lot of the stuff that, um, this, that we've witnessed in this life. And we do our part to free ourselves and heal ourselves continuously and understand ourselves and we use our magic to heal ourselves and empower ourselves too, but I really don't want to reincarnate after this, and it was sort of easy when we used to be, when Max used to be, was an atheist, and they could just sort of write it off, but now that we do actually believe in this stuff and are aware of each other, it's like, would prefer not to reincarnate, I feel like, because I don't want to be physical again after this. I just want us to be together in our mental kingdom and just to create there and just make our own place and be there with each other and not have to deal with other people anymore. I think Corvus has something to say. I'll let them switch in. Corvus speaking to Samuel and Max of the Court of Consciousness system. Marx was in shale, my husband, as both of you know, and we lived in a cottage with a water mill um, at the crossroads between shale and Avalon, and we lived there for roughly maybe 380 or so years. Um, that's a rough estimate. Closer to 400, since they died roughly 400 years ago. But, um... I think you will find that there will be time. There will be time to... You'll have time to process and figure things out, I think. And... I don't think even if I did know how it worked that I would be allowed to say. Um, but I remember that living with Marx in sort of a cross between one of the underworlds and fairy worlds. Um... I think Marx is trying to say something and I'm trying to not lose my train of thought so I need to stay on to what I was saying. My point is I think there will be time um, to figure things out uh, regardless of how it works and if our spirit slash spirits decide that we don't want to reincarnate, if that is even an option, like if it is optional because we don't, you don't know if it is, um, hopefully we would have enough time to, to decide or figure that all out. I'm going to let Marx speak now. Max, I think that you will find wherever you go agreeable and be welcomed in the places you will have gained access to and I do feel guilt I will confess I do feel guilt and somewhat personal responsibility for areas of suffering this incarnation has had. Among them, I feel that my being a fairy is 
in some way connected to us being transgender physically. And I didn't know that um, it would be such a catastrophically horrific experience for this incarnation. And even though we've reached a point where we understand it's not our body's fault, it's not our mind's fault, it's not our spirit's fault, it simply is and there's nothing wrong with it, it's just how we are, I also understand that doesn't make it any easier in a time period where that alone, on top of our various developmental and other disabilities, is excruciatingly difficult to live with in this world. And I don't know entirely why I feel like that's my fault, but I do. I don't think it's as simple as what I said before, but I also don't really know why I feel that. I just feel like there's something to do with me being your past life um, and being a man and being your past life that has something to do with, uh, with the mi mix matching of energies, uh, there. And I don't think there's anything wrong with being transgender, not even remotely. And I agree with what Max said today about transgender people from a spiritual perspective being bridges between, um, the physical and the spiritual or mental and how you have a physical form that is charged with one energy and mental forms that are charged with another energy or are uh, fluctuating energy and i think that From my personal beliefs, the afterlife is how we are mental, um, but that it is real. It is mental and also real, uh, in my opinion. And I think that if, um, you won't find it disagreeable, but, uh, as for reincarnating, if we've been able to tell that you're a wizard, and I 400 years ago was a wizard and still am, and then 400 years before that, Lee was a wizard, and Jonathan is like a pastor, or I don't know if they're a pastor, but they're religious, which is different from being a wizard, but still spiritual. <laughs> And they're not 400 years apart. They're only a few generations apart, but it's another one of those gray areas since they're not a full past incarnation. They're more of an ancestral spirit. They said for them it was like a school or something, but anyways, I'm just saying that no one really knows how the afterlife works. And I can have my, like, partial memories but the river of forgetfulness prevents certain things from being spoken to you or expressed and i know that um this incarnation has struggled profusely and is learning and healing and growing and um if there is a way around reincarnation, I hope that we would be able to find that. And, um, yeah. But also, I feel like if we're around 400 years apart, by the time we hit another 400 years, and it's the year, like, what would that even be? From, like, 2,400-something. By the time it's, like, those years, things would be so fundamentally completely different that part of the issue is... If it is a choice, if it is a choice to reincarnate as human, I feel like we might kind of want to again with that much time spent in the afterlife in between. Sort of like creating and doing what we want. Well, by the time you get to another 400 years, I feel like we're not necessarily going to even remember a lot of the suffering this incarnation went through and maybe want to do over. <laughs> 
but um that's assuming it even is a choice because i don't fucking know <laughs> or maybe i do i think i might but wouldn't be at liberty to say <laughs> i don't know i don't fucking know what i'm saying anyways um zamuel i hope this helps you and max too okay max is ending the video now um thank you guys for helping samuel and me out